Hi everyone, welcome to our new video. We today we fixed the problem which says your resource will be held, you know, all that thing. Let me get you here. Uh, it says, I look for any solution, but I never find any solution. Um, it says your resource will be held. Let me see. Okay, it says your job will be held until the issue is resolved. Okay, uh, most of the uh, forums I went to they were saying the paper is not set well and all that there could be That issue, but me. Let me show you how I solved it. Well <clears throat> This cable I'm using a network cable to print anyway, you can see not a USB cable. Okay. Yeah, okay, so When I connected the computer there are many computers here I don't think you're gonna see okay it's connected there so now when i connected the computer one of the pcs the issue was yeah it downloaded the drivers online right so the issue is for, for drivers so i'm gonna show you what you do if you're using a network cable what you do you press here press this button first press here and make make the printer be on okay Then press this button. Okay, when you press that button, it's gonna give you the what? The IP address of the printer. You can see it. This is gonna be your solution. So this is a, a, Zero, a Xerox um uh, Xerox what? Uh, yeah, work center seventy eight three five i right? So you get your IP for the printer, right? Then you go to your PC. After going to your PC, what you do, you go to the browser. Uh, I was there already, but I'm gonna show you. Um, use any browser. You put in that. That address, 192.16.1. They are not going to be the same with yours. I showed you how to get it. You press enter. Once you're there, you see how it is. Uh, you click on support. On that support, then you're going to click on what? Install. But it must be online. You click on that. Then it's gonna automatically download. You can see after downloading, you go and install these drivers. I've just installed them already. I'm gonna cancel. Once you install those drivers, your printer is gonna work perfectly because the drivers are gonna be from Xerox straight. So after when I installed the drivers, the printer installed itself. So then when i print it prints no issues uh, let me see control p i'm gonna print i'm printing this if you can see it okay you can see yeah the printer printed right that's it but uh, there are some suggestions people say you have to do the the settings uh, which is up to you about the copies and whatever but me what solved my problem was there just to install the drivers I'm gonna repeat one thing is You go to your browser, you type in the IP address of the printer. You click on support, and you click on that link to download, right? Then, once you download that, you can double click there and start what? Um, start installation when the installation is done the printer is gonna print so and you say 
make that printer as a default right it won't give you any stress anymore guys um i hope that helps guys please don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you have any suggestions please also leave them so uh, don't forget this button that's where we get your ip address if you don't have one also you can set it up but in case of the usb i don't know much but they, that's the drivers driver issue get me so some people this is a tray whatever you see all my trays i never change nothing. i never change nothing i never change nothing why am i saying it's not the tray problem because um Because other other machines are working nicely. Okay. Proper tree, whatever. Okay. Because other machines are printing, so I can't say it's the tree. That's the thing. Uh, I don't have to set anything here. Get me. Confirm, 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 confirm. Yeah. I'm not with the guys who say it's the tray, but it could be the tray. But what you have to know is get your drivers right, everything's gonna be right. Okay? So don't touch the trays before you get right drivers because the drivers are good. They are automatically installed by the what? By Windows. But these ones, I got them from Xerox. You go to the IP, then the printer is going to search for its own what? Drivers. It gets it in, download it. Because there is a link there. Install. After installation, everything's fine. Well, guys, that's what I could say for now. Please don't forget to subscribe. <coughs> uh, and put us in a leave a comment in the comment box below and well see you in the next video bye bye